another video of In The Mix With. Hi. And Nick. We are coming to you today with a husband and wife tag Sunday. Yay. Sunday is the Lord's Day. Hi. We actually got out of worship and we still feeling good. So we wanted to spend some time with you guys today. Oh. So what are we going to do today, baby? Um, We got some questions to ask one another and why are you looking at me? I love the way she say, she say questions. Questions with I love uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> we have questions <laughs> that we're going to ask each other, and um, yeah, you'll see each other's responses. It's some old cute questions, I guess. I like getting her on camera and railing over questions, see what she's going to say. Have you a video. <laughs> Ain't no bloopers. <laughs> like All right. You ready? Yes. Let's I'm going to ask the first one, and then back, back, uh, back and forth. Mm -hmm. What was your first opinion of me? Ooh. When I first seen you? Yes. My first opinion of you was that um, you're stern, that you were very mannerable, and you're cute, I guess. Cool, cool. I'll <laughs> take that. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> My first opinion of you was you were very beautiful, <laughs> and that was it, because I don't think you said anything. Mm -hmm. I think I saw you before I actually talked to you. Wow, she just kind of sat there like, I like, serve a, like a goddess just sitting there. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> we knew each other a lot longer before we actually started dating. Yeah, I knew of him, but I didn't know him like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so number two is, when did you know that I was the one? The one? The one. My wife won? The bride won? Yeah. Uh, I remember the day. It was the third Sunday. I think it was March 22nd, 2015. Mm -hmm. It was five months after we started uh, dating and seeing each other. Wow. Yeah, my dad always said, when a man knows, son, he knows. And I didn't know what that meant until I got it, you know. So, <laughs> so when I first knew you was the one, um, I think we were going back and forth. Like, I was just in my iffy mode. Like, on, we were hot and cold, hot and cold. And I think we were in a cold moment to where he said that he was going to give me my space and, like, kind of back off a little bit and let me get my thoughts and mind that. together. And me and my sister, we were talking, and I noticed that he wasn't calling me like that no more. So that's when I was like, hold on now. Hey. You missed it, bro. <laughs> no, nothing like that. But it just kind of made me thought, like, you better call me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you better call me tonight. So that's when I, I think I know like he not about to, I ain't letting him call What me. is that? Absence makes the heart grow fonder. In some cases. Yeah, yeah some, some cases. Some cases. people. Sometimes bye. absence makes <laughs> ain't the heart to see just wander off. But <laughs> in this case, yeah, you had me looking for him. <laughs> Good. Yeah. What does your family think of me? My family love Nick. Do they? They actually, uh, some of the family members knew him, like, knew him before me. So, oh yeah, you know, you know you're a second generation. The young kids, they knew him before me. So, they adore him. They adore him. They love him. So, anytime we might, like, get into a disagreement, they look at me like, well, what did you do? Like, oh. yes. <laughs> what did you do? What do you mean? Uh, like, we are the same sign. So, yeah. he be doing stuff, too. My family loves you. Really? They think you are perfect for me. They think you level me. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they just adore you. Mm -hmm. That makes me smile. I they love they think she's it. so nice. <laughs> I am. <laughs> you are nice. I'm not nice. <laughs> no, you're nice. You're very nice. You're nice to me. I have to be. <laughs> I have to be. Your friends think of me. My friends. I guess they just know that you're the one for me. Yeah. They give me a lot of props because they look at me like, wow, you got married. Like, you actually doing it. <laughs> and they think, like, they'll be there someday. I don't know. They, I guess they use me as the guinea pig to see how it go, to see if they want to get married. <laughs> just to test it out, test yeah. the water for so them. So I got, I got a lot of pressure on me to make sure I do stuff right. Lord. For some other relationships <laughs> to come. <laughs> So what do your friends think of me? My guy friends say that you are very lucky. You are very lucky. And my uh, 
one from my female friend, she say, Oh, she's like, oh, <laughs> oh, it's oh, yeah. Yeah, they love you though. They they respect you. Cool. They probably know you very well. They do. <laughs> like, he don't right. do what she That's what she said. <laughs> I ain't gonna even hold you up. She said it like, Lord, like. If he's the one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is like the one thing that we argue the most about? Miscommunicating. I'll say the same thing. That's my, yeah. Just miscommunicating about certain stuff. Miscommunicating. She say one thing, I hear something else. I say something, she and hears something like, else. What do you mean by that? Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, oh, I didn't mean it that way. And it's like, oh, that's the way I took it. <laughs> mm -hmm. We got a future video coming up on communication, so yeah. So. Yeah. And you are gonna enjoy that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the next question is, what do we argue most about? I would say not communicating. Yeah, right? not communicating. I yeah. think so. Um, yeah. yeah. That is that the is some that yeah, that feeds right into not knowing like <laughs> what are you talking about. Right or what's wrong. Yeah, communication is very important in the relationship because you're taking two different people who think totally, totally two different ways different. and trying to put it together. And trying to exist. Yes. So you're gonna come upon some miscommunication. Mm -hmm. You keep looking at me like no, I'm <laughs> What's the next one? Um, <laughs> have you ever pretended to be sleep to avoid an argument? No, I have not. Because I'm going to say what I need to say and then go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. That's not really our style. No. Yeah. I've It'll be no it's funny as well. when I read the question. Yeah. I picked that one. Like I like that one. If we have Flip something it. to say to each other, we gonna say oh, it. We gonna say it. And that's has gonna be said. Yeah, it's just the way we are. Yeah, I'm the type of person like if it's that deep, I have to I have to say something because it makes me physically sick. Go to sleep to avoid it. You gotta wake <laughs> up. <laughs> right, you gonna wake up. And you don't have I'll wake you up. Wake, wake up. Sleep. Yeah. So yeah, it ain't, it ain't none of that. Yeah. Um, so the next question is, who's more affectionate? I want to say me by like one point, like point one, but it depends. So I feel like I feel like when I'm being more affectionate, you're just receptive of it, and then sometimes like you're being more recept like affectionate. I feel like we kind of yeah, like yin and yang. Like sometimes I'm just chilling, and you'll come and like be super affectionate, and sometimes. You just be relaxed, not gonna bother you. I love bothering you. I, I love bothering yeah, you. Yeah, he does. So that's why I say me by like point one. I love. I don't know, guys. You know, there's something about getting on your girl's nerves. I don't know what it is. It just <laughs> it's so <laughs> he amazing. It. I'm like, it's not like really getting on her nerves. Nerves. It's just like kind of like bothering just her. Like, you know, kissing her, touching her, tickling her feet, bothering. She's sitting down. You know, kind of messing with her. I don't know. Just she likes you, uh... it. Cause when I don't do it, she's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's, yeah, when you got an egg, babe. Yeah, you yeah. Tidy up. Mm -hmm. She likes it. So make sure you get on your girl's nerves. The service. last message The last text message you sent me, I think last night, was when you get home, I want to go to CVS and the bank. <laughs> I had to take care of some business, y'all. <laughs> and what was the last message that I sent you? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. That's what it was. Your, it was one of your cute. nicknames. It was a cute little nickname. That one of the like. nicknames that she don't like <laughs> that I call her. I ain't said I don't like it. It's just it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. I ain't gonna. I am not gonna she expose gonna my it. cute nicknames. Cute nicknames. <laughs> you know, All right. Uh, what is something that you enjoy doing with me? Same answer. We are real, just like chill, relaxed people. One of the favorite things we like to do is just sit on the bed, sit on the couch, talk to each other, talk, laugh, laugh <laughs> take a nap, cuddle, watch some TV. Yeah, like, we don't have to really go anywhere. We just enjoy each other. So. Mm -hmm. 
Um, who is more romantic? Romantic flowers and candy and violin and candles. And I would say that baths. we both are romantic, but as of lately, I would probably give it to you. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say that a man can't be romanced, but I feel like the more traditional, obvious things is for the man to do for the woman. Like mm -hmm. the flowers, the candy, the hot bubble bath, rose petals in the bathtub, perfume on the bed, stuff like that, stuff like that, candles and music. That's more outward stuff. I mean, I'm not saying guys were a little bit more simple, but. Romance leads to intimacy, and sometimes men we don't we don't always need too much. I know. Uh, to get we don't us, need to be all well, romantic. Yeah, just, just yeah. So <laughs> so yeah, I, I, y'all know what I mean. <laughs> comment, yeah, comment, yeah, uh, about that one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the next one. What was the best gift I've ever given you? about that my last name Taylor <laughs> Damn. Oh, sweet uh, one of the best gifts you've ever given me was something you give me lately I remember it was Christmas Day and I woke up and uh, you told me that for like your gift for Christmas one of your gifts for Christmas you was like you looked at me you just said you do enough oh. and I those are just words and it meant a lot to me just like knowing that you know, I'm appreciative. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Like for working hard and doing what we gotta do for our family. Mm -hmm. It was nice. That's one of the best gifts. You're so petty. You're so She's trying petty. to get me all just all no, gushy yeah, inside. I mean, it's, it's the truth. Yeah, it's the mm -hmm. truth. Mm -hmm. What is my best physical trait? You, all of, me. all of you, but I would say two at you. Me too, I got you. Lips mm -hmm. and your little sad puppy dog eyes. <laughs> <laughs> puppy dog eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I think I get those from my older brother Randall. Oh, I like that. And from my dad's side of the family. <laughs> I would say your lips as well. Love them lips. And the thing that attracted me to you when I first like noticed on you was the legs. <laughs> the legs you from the church you have on these little, no, these I didn't. Skirts. <laughs> mm -hmm. little church skirts. So Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, so the next one is you use one word to describe me. Hilarious. Really? Yes. Yes. People think you're a serious person, oh, but God. you make me laugh so much. <laughs> and some of the times when you make me laugh, it's like you be so serious about stuff and it be so funny. <laughs> like that's just one of the many words I could describe you with, but that's mm -hmm. the one that popped in my head. And she'd be trying to make a point and she, I'd just be looking at her and just smiling. She'd be like, I'm just being serious. And I'm like, <laughs> I know, but you're making me laugh. Mm -hmm. One word to describe you. Mm -hmm. Extra. I knew you was gonna say that. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. Extra. He is extra. You, you bought the extra package when you said it for husband. I did, but whatever. Extra. I know exactly what you mean too. He is extra. She could ask for a bowl of ramen noodles, and I would bring it to her with some parsley on top and a cracked egg and some chopsticks. I like the presentation. I like anything I like to do for her. I, it, I love that I you rolled it, down a red carpet for I me. I love that you did that. But he I can do simple. Extra. No, you but don't my know mind simple. is just so creative. I just you don't know simple. If I ask for a sandwich, <laughs> he will make me a sandwich and he will bring it in like one of the dish bowls, like the real dish bowl. Yeah, a really nice dish with a pickle and all that. But it's like, yo, 
it's a whole bunch of paper plates down there. Put my sandwich on a paper plate with my pickle and my chips and all that. Paper plates are for backyard barbecue. <laughs> I'm bringing you some food. I'm bringing you on a nice glass like, crystal plate. Well, I don't need all that. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that, though. Yes. Um, what is my best personality trait? Your best personality trait? Um, you're smart. I'm a smart girl. You're a really smart girl. Thank you. I would say your best personality trait for me would be your integrity. You, you're a big person on right is right, wrong is wrong. You don't do people wrong, even when they do you wrong. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, you're just like, you're a very honest person. You, know, you tell the truth, you speak what's on your mind. I like that. And I don't even try to be rude when I do what you I don't say hold in back. the most mannerable way, but mm -hmm. hey. <laughs> I think that's something about us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in like science stuff like that, but just our birthday being kind of close together, we do have a lot of things that's kind of like. And I also, that we are like, I get where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. So when I, for an example, if he say he needs space, like, you know, not even say I need space, but he need time to, you know, himself to kick back and, you know, do his own thing. I don't get offended by it because I, I can be in that mood too, to where I need my little, you know, girl time, me time, and I don't get offended. And he don't get offended by it. He know where I'm coming from. And he know, like, okay, she just need it. Go to the mall, buy you a cup of pair of jeans or something. Go have a smoothie. Like give her your credit card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like we're we're one when it comes to that. Like we don't freak out. Like oh, you want this space? What you mean? You want that? You know, you know how some couples yeah. be like. It just that just takes time. Away. We gotta understand each other. <laughs> that takes time. I mean, we going on four years married. God, like seven years together. Where did time go? Um, let's see. Bonus. Do you have a problem with saying sorry? <laughs> I don't. Oh yeah, I can see why you don't. I feel that I don't because if I'm truly sorry about something, I will come to you humbly and apologize for it. But if people feel that I need to apologize, that's something different. Like you feel that I need to apologize and it's like I don't see like what did I do wrong if I felt that I did wrong then I apologize you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. like people want you to like no like I'm not sorry like if for an example <laughs> people be like oh Kyra what's wrong da 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 blah 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 but tell me what's wrong with this that and the third and I tell them it's not something that they want to hear and it might kind of rub them the wrong way or hurt their feelings but it's like you asked me for my opinion or you know on a matter and that hurt your feelings, like I'm not sorry for that. You ask me. I don't have a problem saying sorry at all. He don't. Sometimes. If you are a man <laughs> in a relationship, you it's a part of your vocabulary. <laughs> no. You're like, I'm sorry. Sometimes you know that even know what you're apologizing for. And I don't think it's you fair. Apologize to me no, but on a serious note, I don't have a problem saying sorry. Um there's been a few times I need to say sorry because it, I actually did something wrong in this relationship or other relationships, uh, familiar or whatever. And then sometimes just in daily communication, work, and stuff like that, I will apologize as a way of opening a conversation to resolve an issue to make some progress. So sometimes it's really like heartfelt because it's a personal mm -hmm. thing. Other times it's just more so uh, cordial just to get some work done or, or make progress yeah yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would say but yeah it, it's it's easier probably for me really mm -hmm. yeah because you're like okay I'm sorry whatever but it's like no I'm not <laughs> <laughs> it's easier for me like, guys I can't comment. help it that you took that way but whatever type it up <laughs> you know, you're probably apologizing right now. I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. That concludes um, our marital tag, mm -hmm. husband and wife tag. Sunday. Um, Sundays. We hope you guys enjoyed it. We hope you guys uh, got a laugh out of it. We hope you guys um, just found humor in it and yeah. have fun with us. 
<laughs> so go ahead and make sure you subscribe to our channel share our video and like, like our video and also click on the notification bell so mm -hmm. that you guys know when we are uploading mm -hmm. you make sure you want to be in the mix let me sprinkle some mm -hmm. gotta get in there <laughs> this has been fun guys we love you and we will see you soon soon see yes, yes. Bye. Ah.